Stephen Norsworthy here, professional engineer, professional musician. I'm going to play for you a video of Vladimir Horowitz playing the Rachmaninoff Opus 32, number 12, Prelude. And of course it's marvelous and he gets you know, a huge ovation from it, and he should. Um, he played it with a way that maybe no one else has played it aesthetically. Um, but watch the video, let's pause for a moment here, switch to the Horowitz video, which I've downloaded from YouTube, watch his right hand very carefully, and watch that his fingers come off the keys high up, but they're very fast. He goes... So the fingers are definitely coming up higher. Notice also on the video that he doesn't move the wrist or the arm much. It's very still. And it's high. He's just that very rapid fingers that are laying flat. Notice also his fingers are right up at the fingerboard. Um, and notice that he has a very natural way, he just lays his hand right in the middle of the key. But watch in particular the rising, the very fast, rapid rising of the fingers. And here's the video. <laughs> seen the video, let's try something for a moment. Lay your hand at the keyboard like this and just anchor lightly your fifth and first finger and just move your middle three fingers. Okay, just move them like this, up in the air, up and down, and lay your arm relatively um, flat. I'm going to raise my bench up a little higher and make it even easier. Okay, so let's just lay your hands on the two A flats. And just lay your fingers here like this and just do that over and over and over again. Or even just barely even touch one and five and just do this. Now put your hand right here on this part of your arm and watch the tendons. And feel the tendons. There's a lot of tendon activity. I have very thin physique and you can really see the tendons move a lot. And you can just watch them rapidly move and do that over and over and over again. And don't move the arm, don't, you know, rotate the arm, don't rotate the wrist, just do that with a very still arm. You, now, if you're Horowitz, you can probably do that all day long, but for most people, these tendons will get a little tight and a little tired in here. Now, it's partly because if you let your arm fall with the lower elbow with gravity, so or the bench, and you put your hand like this, lower arm. First of all, it immediately relieves this tension because the hand is dangling without any counterforce. When you raise your wrist, you're going into compression. This is gravity pulling your hand down. This is counterforce of gravity compressing the wrist. The compression of the wrist adds a compressive force into the arm putting all of this under tension, and you can't move your fingers as fast. You can lift them up like, up like this, but you can really see the high tension in these tendons right here. You can feel it, you can see it. And Horowitz has got, in my opinion, got used to that motion and without a lot of relief in that area. He got used to it, he had to. Uh, but this is an inevitable part of the movement. Now, let's lower our bench all the way. Let's raise the wrist, lower the arm, lower the uh, upper arm in parallel, and just lay your one and five here on A flat, and just move without getting up in the air. Pull two, three, and four like this. There's hardly any movement here, because you're using a pulling motion. These, this part of the hand is free from gravitational counterforce. From, it's not putting any compression in this area. It's relieving the compression. And 
there's hardly, you can't even feel the movement in here because these tendons are totally relaxed without the counterforce of the gravity. And, and you can make this motion loud without every coming off the surface of these three notes. So now, where does that take us with the Rachmaninoff Op. 32, number 12? Here's where it takes us. Instead of going, I'm really lifting a lot in that movement, doing this instead. Slow motion. First, I'm staying right on the key. I'm never moving my three and five off of the surface of the key. They remain touching at all times, and even one. clockwise rotation to this so that when I come down, I'm going upper elliptical, and come down, back ascending, lower elliptical. Now, I'm also that slight elliptical rotation allows the arm to move just a little bit like this in sympathetic movement with the wrist. And remain right on the surface of the keys. And I get a little bit of a movement this way, and I'm getting no feeling of any tendon movement. And I feel like I can just do that all day long and never get tired. I've done that for about two minutes at a time, and I felt no fatigue. And you have total dynamic control by how much you're pulling. If I wanted to go, bum, 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 I would pull. I'm getting a little more weight up here. Yum. Bum, 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 bum. If I wanted that musical effect, I could get it. If I wanted the musical effect by having to raise the finger, I would have to have a lot of higher movement here and less here. I would have to go. having a less mass in my fifth finger coming up higher to get that level of force. And it's just a lot more work. Now, Horowitz mastered that. More power to him. But the, for the rest of us, we don't need to work that hard. And we can play more efficiently. So that's my little take on this spot for the day. Thank you for listening.